Hey guys, welcome to Gaming Back, bringing you another video today for our weapon conversion series. And today we're going to dive into another shotgun for our weapon builds. And today we're creating the Force Tech Origin 12 SBV. So this is a short barreled variant of the Origin 12 shotgun, which is actually not classified as a shotgun. It is classified due to the United States regulations. It doesn't really fit any category. It is classified as simply a firearm. So we'll go ahead and get into this. I'll show you what makes the attachments unique to create the SBV variant of this weapon. And then we're going to go ahead and get in game on a CQC map and see how it handles in game against bots. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So here we have our final design for the Fostech Origin 12 SBV, or the short build variant of the Origin 12 shotgun. So let's go ahead and back out and strip this down to the base Origin 12. So this by base is the base Origin 12. Oh, let's see if we get it to refresh here. So here is the Origin 12. And you can see by default it does come with that side grip on there and you have an eight round magazine so now the attachments that the attachments that make this unique we'll get to but first we're going to start with the muzzle and i'm going to go ahead and put a compensator on this just to help us with the recoil control the cons being the and on sight speed as well as the aiming stability but for how we're going to be using this we're going to be popping off rounds pretty quick so we want to be able to control that recoil because it is going to kick pretty heavily Next up, the barrel, we're going to leave it with the base barrel. Now, you have a few options here for the Forge Tech Precision, Forge Tech Wide Shot, and the Impaler. So these are this one here being the 18-inch barrel and some different length barrels here that does not specify. But by base, it comes with a 9 and 3 fourths inch barrel here. So this is the barrel that we start with with the Origin 12. We're going to go ahead and keep that in order to keep it the SBV. And now laser, we're going to go ahead and skip for the optic. Again, this is personal preference. I'm going to run a holographic just to have a little bit of a sight picture to try and adjust for recoil when we're firing ADS. The pros here are going to be the, obviously that you have the precision sight picture. The only con being a slight bump to your ADS speed, which we shouldn't really make up, shouldn't really impact us too much because we have that short barrel on there. Go ahead and put the hollow on there. Now the attachment that makes this unique is going to be the stock which really is not a stock and we'll get into reasons why when we get into the video but the forge tech dart is the attachment that we want so this attachment is going to going to assist with our ads speed and the cons being aiming stability so if i put this on really quick you can see the uniqueness of this stock it really is not a stock it is a stabilizing brace this weapon is not meant to be fired from the shoulder and this stock is basically a way around uh, gun regulations and laws to produce a short build shotgun variant like this so really this is a this is an arm brace and it comes with straps on the side in real life i'll show some photos of that one when we finish the build here and this is not meant again not meant to be fired from the shoulder it's meant to be fired either from under your arm or utilizing the arm brace you can even fire it from using the cheek resting your cheek on the cheek butt there so that is how this is meant to be fired so we'll put that force tech dart on there. And again, that's going to assist with our ADS speed, the con being aiming stability. But this in real life would not be fired from the shoulder with this attachment. Next up, we're going to go ahead and do the skip out on the perk. And we're going to go ahead and go for the rear grip here. So we have three attachments for the rear grip. We can go ahead and do, there's three options. Obviously, we can go for the aiming stability and walking speed or the recoil control or the stipple grip grip tape for ADS speed and sprint to fire speed. So for this one, I'm gonna go with recoil control. And the con beam, this is obviously a rubberized grip tape. The pros being recoil control, the con being aiming stability for this. But this again, is just gonna keep us a little bit more accurate uh, when we're firing in CQC situations. So go ahead and select that. And then next up for our ammunition, at base it comes with the 12 or eight round 12 gauge. We have the 12 round 12 gauge shells the eight round 437 gauge or the 25 round drum mag so in real life this weapon comes with a all the way from a 5 8 12 20 round drum mag and a 30 round drum mag so this this design here is based off of the 30 round drum mag and again it's a happy medium between 20 and 30 so we'll go ahead and select this just to have that added magazine capacity so we can really take advantage of this and see how destructive it is in close quarter situations the cons being the ADS speed as well as the movement speed since we are packing 25 shells in this drum. So go ahead and select that. 
And then by base, you do have a side mounted grip on this weapon that you can utilize. And if you really wanted to, the Merc 4 grip, I think is something that we will actually take advantage of here. So we're gonna select that over the grip because we wanna be able to have better recoil control. And this is also gonna assist with our ADS speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on for the Merc 4 grip. Your other option being the Commando 4 grip, which is that 45 degree slanted foregrip. And this one is going to assist with your recoil stabilization as well as your aiming stability, the cons being movement speed. But we're gonna keep that Merc foregrip. And this is our final design for the Forest Tech Origin 12 SBV or short barrel variant. Again, this does not fit uh, shotgun regulations. This is classified as not being a shotgun. It fits that it is a firearm. So it's designed to be a firearm, even though it fires shotgun shells obviously and again it doesn't fit any of the regulations the atf reclassified this just last month in december 2019 as an sbs so it requires a tax stamp to be purchased when you buy this model so this is again under sp specific lengths making it not a shotgun it doesn't fit any categories it's a very unique firearm and again this is just a way through the uh, gun law loopholes in the United States by having this arm brace on here. So this is our final design for the weapon. You can see here, very aesthetically pleasing, very nice. You have the Picatinny rails on top, the adjustable flip sights on there that we are not utilizing now because we did put a EOTech on there. And we have Picatinny's on the bottom. We have that side mounted Merc foregrip, Picatinny's on the right side of the weapon there, as well as the right where we have the grip. We have the pistol stabilizing brace or the arm brace, which is you can see there it is a foldable brace so in real life you could fold this to the left and collapse it to make it an even shorter variant of the weapon and it does have in real life an adjustable gas block as well so you can control you can see there in the front of the weapon right above the muzzle where we have the compensator attached you can see the adjustable gas block that you would configure yourself based on what your fire what rounds you're firing what your your ranges and even if you were to have a longer barrel on this like for example with the origin 12 i believe also has an adjustable gas block so with an sbv this particular variant you typically want your gas block tuned all the way up but you can see that that, that is adjustable and that's a nice little detail that they included in the game here as well so this is the foss tech Origin 12 SBV or short barrel variant. Let's go ahead and get in game and take a look at the recoil control. And then we're going to hop in and see how it handles in game against bots. Okay, now that we are in game with our Fostech Origin 12 SBV, let's go ahead and see how it handles when we're firing it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the recoil pattern. If I were to just fire from the hip and not control it, we'll fire off of it. So we have the 25 round drum mag. Let's fire off around five and see how it handles. So there you can see the spread obviously being pretty large, being that it is a shotgun. And now let's go ahead and ADS and just take a look at it without controlling it. So you can see it goes up and to the right slightly. Now if I were to control the recoil. So you can see right there, we're able to keep it much more on target and control that. Now if we're aiming at a target like this, say at this range, let's see how we can control this, firing off the rest of these 10 rounds. So you can see there it climbs up a little bit and basically you're getting headshots. Let's try once more. Almost out. So there you can see we're able to obliterate this target and again it is kicking high into the right. So definitely keep that in mind when you are firing. So if we were to, let's find a fresh target here. Let's try it one more time. I'm going to fire off all 25, the last of our ammunition and see how we can control this. So there you can see, I even moved back a little bit to give us more distance and you can see the spread there, even ADSing is pretty big. Now you can put different attachments on there for the, you can put a choke on there to keep it tighter if you wanted to, or you can put a different barrel length on there. But for the purpose of this video, we're just gonna keep the compensator on and use it as the Fostec Origin 12 SPV. So that's the recoil control. You can see the spread of the ammo. Let's go ahead now and get in game and see how it handles in game in a CQC environment against bots. Okay, now that we're in game with our Fostech Origin 12 SBV or a short barrel variant, let's see how this thing handles. And again, we're using this in a close quarters situation here. So we can try and get an idea of how this thing handles, especially with that 25 round drum mag, if we utilize this. You can see it's typically a 
Unless you're right up in their face, it's gonna be a three to four shot kill, depending. And you can see how we're able to control the recoil pretty decently here with this these particular attachments. And we are getting, as we saw with the recoil control, we're getting pretty decent muzzle spread on this. But you're able to control that if you were to throw something like a choke on or even a longer barrel. We're using the standard 19 and a half inch barrel on this particular weapon. And again, with that 25 round magazine or drum magazine on there, we're getting the maximum capacity for our ammo that we can. So this is a... This is a direct competitor, the Origin 12 is, to, direct competitor to the Saiga 12, which is the Russian shotgun that I think we've seen in previous Call of Duties in the past. Unfortunately, it's not in Modern Warfare yet. But that particular weapon is the competitor to the Origin 12. Now, this this Origin 12 SBV is not a shotgun. As again, as I said, because it doesn't fit specific specifications to be a shotgun, even though it does fire shotgun shells, so by law, legally, the SPV short billet variant with the arm brace. So it's because it's fitted with an arm brace, because it is not designated as a sh you're not shooting it from the shoulder. It is not a shotgun, despite the fact that it is firing shotgun shells. Whoops. And then besides that, being a oh, that's my friendly too. Darn. So legally not a shotgun, and being a smooth board, it, being that a smooth board is legally not a handgun. Also, because it fires shotgun shells, it's legally not a destructive device. So the Origin 12 is fitted with a Criterion other weapon, so it's not as it is not over 26 inches. So the barrel itself for the SPV is under 18 inches, the barrel length itself, thus making it a non-NFA firearm. So as I said, the the ATF reclassified this as a SBS in December, making it mean that you require a tax stamp to purchase the SBV model in real life. So you can see in close quarter situations, this thing just shreds. And again, with that nine and a half inch barrel by default, so you can see when we get out to ranges like this, obviously is where we're going to have trouble. But if we were to use this in a close quarters prey and spray situation like this, when you have 25 round drum bag on here, you just would be able to shred people. So. That's the fun thing about using this, especially in like a realism mode. If you can get lucky with a headshot on an enemy, it, it's going to drop them right away. Kind of like just happened to me right there. Let's try and get a flank. And the good thing is we can kind of just let this thing loose at the hip and really see how it handles, which is the fun part about this. So this was designed in 2013 through present. The height is seven inches on this particular build. Oh my God, I'm on fire. Length is 35.2 overall. That's with the stabilizing brake arm brace on there. And then we have our MP7 here on sling also for situations like this where we can't get CQ with anybody. And you can see, obviously not not a competitor with the 725 in any way, but the good thing is we do have the extra capacity. So we can get right up in someone's face like this or in, in a map like Vacant or even Speedball like this. And you can just wreck people, especially if you were to put the... There's different ammunition that we went over there that comes with this weapon that will increase damage. But again, that's very difficult to... Uh, aim I found it a little hard to do so let me know what you guys think of this particular model I know a lot of you as for shotguns in a lot of the videos and you can see here range It's definitely gonna struggle, but with the 25 rounds you want to be using this mainly as a secondary on your sling for close quarter situations Especially in something like search and destroy right there We just do a one-shot kill and obviously in realism headshots are gonna count for something But you can really hurt people up close with this thing. I think this is the only shotgun that comes with a 25 round drum mag, which is pretty cool. So let me know what you guys think of this. This is the Fostech Origin 12 SBV. You can definitely fit it with better attachments to suit your playstyle and make the pallet spread a little bit tighter. But a very interesting weapon in this game. It's really cool that they did put the arm stabilizing brace in here. Uh, it's good to see that and overall the weapon is very aesthetically pleasing. I know I've been using this a lot in multiplayer for specifically like when I play Search and Destroy on rare occasions, I would like to run this as a secondary. So let me know what you think. And until next time, Buffner Gaming, out.